Good morning, intrepid adventurers. It is 30 degrees, and I am on a Honda Elite 110, which belongs to my friend who is a pastor, who has been my best friend for many years. I got tires on it. It has now a cheeky seat seat cover on it, which will preserve his seat for a while. Cheeky seat seat covers are very good. This is not a paid promotion. This is, they are a very good option to cover scooter seats, and they even do groms. Just gotta remember, no clutch. No clutch, no shifting. This is weird. I've gotten so used to riding regular motorcycles with regular drivetrains that I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten how to ride a scooter, even though it's very simple. It's just you're so used to clutching with the left hand. I'm gonna go the main routes. I wanna make the ride as quick as possible simply because it is cold out here. It is 30 degrees. When it's 30 degrees and you're traveling along at 30 miles an hour, that's like 10 degrees, I guess, something like that. I, I don't know. So it's plenty cold. The roads are clear. There's no snow. There's no ice. There's no rain. None of that stuff. Used to the Grom that switched. I was going to try to use my hippo hands today. And my hippo hands, well, they don't fit right on this bike. They cover the handlebar ends, but they don't actually allow me to have access to the buttons. Which is fine if you don't mind not having access to, you know, your turn signals and stuff and your horn and all the other necessary stuff that's there. <laughs> this machine's buzzing along at 45 miles an hour. I'd say it's like riding a Grom, and it really is in many ways. It's about the same size. I remembered to wear the right gloves this time, which are a winter glove. Now we have traveled roughly five miles. This entire trip is about 18 miles, which is, on an average day, not a bad trip at all. It's actually short for a motorcycle ride. Oh, hello me. What in the world? It's below freezing and you're mowing your lawn. That's okay. <laughs> I don't mow my lawn once we get about halfway through October. Once we get halfway through October, the lawn stays the way it is until the spring. This is a nice little thing. It really is. I, you know, it's not fast. I'm going to have to stick to roads where I don't have to go above 45, but Right now I'm almost at 50, which is about what I can get up to on my Grom, and it struggles to get there. Uh, the Grom will get up to 55 on average. I had it up to 60 once. I haven't quite hit 50 on this. This hasn't quite gotten up to 50 yet. It's pretty much held at like 48. I can see why my buddy likes this machine so well. I, I, can really, I can really relate. I can understand. Again, it's not fast, and I wouldn't call it quick, but it's still, it's fun. The zero to 60 time on this is non-existent because I don't think it'll make it up to 60. I'll tuck a little. Yeah, with me on it, it seems to be maxing out right around 48. And on a cold day with cold roads and tires that aren't gonna get very well warmed up, eh, I'll live with that. I'm not really going on any roads that require me to go above that anyway. I was gonna go check out to see if anybody else showed up at the ride in, but it's my guess that very few people are going to show up. If anything, last month is a good teller that probably won't be anybody's. I will just head up through Farmersville. Nice thing is the roads are pretty devoid of people. I was remembering earlier this week a ride that I did with my son. It was in 2010. I had my Honda Sabre. It was a V45, 750cc, 80 horsepower. I think 83 is what it was supposed to be rated for. That was a great bike, and it was a cold day like today. And I had to take my son for some educational testing, like P PSSAs or whatever. He was in eighth grade, and he was being homeschooled. And we had to take him to uh, the testing that was set up for the homeschool kids. And no, we're not your typical homeschool family. We never were. We, we just did it out of necessity because he had... He really could not operate in a regular school. It didn't work for him. So I had taken him out on the Sabre. Because at the time, I didn't have a car of my own. My wife had a car, but I had two motorbikes. I had a 150cc scooter and a 750cc motorcycle. And so we got on the Sabre and we rode out there. And it was cold. It was so cold that I couldn't uncurl my fingers. Ooh. The Amish are out this fine and glorious Sunday morning. Nice. Amish and a Mennonite. Not sure this person is really creeping along. At 20 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone. Fantastic. It 
it says something when you're on a very slow motorbike and you're behind somebody who's going even slower and you wish that you could pass them because they're going at an unreasonably slow speed. Oh, come on. I, I may actually pass this person because they're being ridiculous. I know it's not technically legal because it's not a passing zone, but I have a clear line of sight ahead. I can't believe I just passed somebody on a fit one, uh, 110. Now, folks, don't do what I just did. That person was basically going buggy speeds, and it's cold, and I want to get there faster. It's very hard to see, but I have lost them. They're gone. I've only been past them for about a minute, and they're gone. So we're on Farmersville Road. Farmersville Road bisects this part of Lancaster County and goes through, of all places, Farmersville. This is the back route that I use when I take any scooter or small motorbike to Terry Hill. In fact, I use it with my big bike too because it's better than doing the highway. I hate riding on the highway. Riding on the highway is, well, it's just, I don't know, it's dull. But look at that, there's all those hay bales, well, corn bales. So many things to look at, so many things to see. It's just beautiful out here. Why would I want to just ride the highway and not see all this stuff? Yeah, I completely lost that car. I think it was like elderly folks going at elderly rates and don't really feel like being prolonging the agony of riding in the cold. That is a Mennonite buggy, not an Amish buggy. You can tell around here because they're black instead of gray. The gray buggies are Amish, the black buggies are Mennonite. And there may be a good mix of the two today. In this part of Lancaster County, it's more likely to be mostly Mennonites living in an Amish paradise. <laughs> Yeah, I've been really flogging this thing, and the fastest speed I've gotten out of it is 48. So, again, it's not very fast, but it's only a couple steps up from a 50, so can't expect much. Accelerates better than a 50. It's really not bad for this kind of riding, though. <laughs> Still past somebody. <laughs> We're coming out towards a little town of Hinkletown. A very Mennonite-y and amish -y place. Mostly Mennonite-y. Mennonites are the followers of Menno Simon. That's why they're called Mennonites. They come out of Germany initially. Look at that. This is gorgeous. That, that is something else. What a place to be. To be fair, this has not been nearly as bad as I expected. My hands are a little cold, but I'm not like frozen cold. I did turn on my one heated glove, but it seems to run out of battery. My torso is fine. My neck is fine because I've got a balaclava on. Okay, Amish buggy taking a racing corner, jeez. Those stacks of corn husks are cool. Ah, that's amazing. And there is a little burg of Terry Hill up on the hill, of all places. And I have survived my ride. Little Mennonite School, Thomas Farm on the edge of town, and into Terry Hill. Mission accomplished.